What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanna to talk about why wind power can be viable for home applications. Electricity produced by wind turbines has been gaining popularity just as fast as solar has. Most of us by now have probably seen these giant turbines dotting the landscape in the distance. But can they be used for private individuals at their homes? And the answer to that is yes, with a few conditions of course. First would be making sure that your homeowners association or your neighbors nearby would allow it and that it isn't against local ordinances or laws. Most wind turbines do make noise in high wind conditions and some people are just scared of them. Next, you would need to have enough land and space to put a tower and the general rule of thumb is that the tower needs to be about twice as high as the nearest obstruction which is probably going to be your house or a tall tree. The turbine itself has to be above any disturbances that, that are caused by houses and trees and other objects in the way. While you can install a wind turbine on your roof, there's a few reasons why you wouldn't want to. Number one, you're not going to be above the disturbed airflow. And number two, you're going to introduce vibrations into your home. Next, you would need to make sure with your utility company that you can connect to the grid. Otherwise, you'd have to go with an off-grid system, which is, is fine, but you need to know that ahead of time. So let's say your house checks out and meets the criteria. Why would you want to do it? Well, wind turbines are much like solar panels in that they produce electricity. So for an investment of between $500 and say $10,000, you could be providing at least some of your electric bill each month with wind power. But unlike solar panels, wind turbines actually produce power around the clock. Obviously the wind has to be blowing for that to happen, but if you install a tower high enough and you sized your turbine properly, it will be producing power most of the time, whereas a solar panel is going to produce most of its power between four and six, seven hours a day. Maybe you want to go green or you want to live energy independent, but you don't live in an area that gets a lot of sun for solar power. Wind turbines are a good option. Or maybe you live somewhere like Seattle that gets a lot of rain and has a lot of overcast days. Wind turbines don't take the day off. As long as the wind's blowing, they're still working. Like I mentioned before, it doesn't require a huge investment. For as little as 500 US dollars, you can get a two to 400 watt wind turbine, put it up on a pole, and you can be making power with wind. And just like solar, there's a lot of technological innovations that are happening pretty rapidly. This turbine in the picture is a vertical axis wind turbine which spins around a vertical axis instead of a horizontal axis like a traditional wind turbine does. There are also turbines coming out that are almost whisper quiet. By the year 2030, wind power is expected to be 20% of the Earth's electricity. So wind power is here to stay and I'm telling you it's worth taking a look at for home power use. As always, thanks for watching and if you liked what you've seen, hit subscribe in the bottom right.